Animation Mask and Override coming up. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Bofake. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. If you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the animation mask and override with the animator component and the timeline. And before starting, I just want to thank Unity for sponsoring this tutorial. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Animation masks and override are really important, especially when working with multiple animations. Let's take a look at how we're going to use it with the animator component. So this is from the last episode of Inspired by Games where we did the push and pull force from Star Wars. I can walk and run around, but what if I'm moving or running and then I try to push? You will see that it looks like I'm skiing because it's a total override. The entire body plays the push animation, but we don't want that. We want it just to affect the spine and the arms. It's pretty simple. Let's look at the setup of the animator component we have. Basically here we have the base layer, which is the essentials, the jumping, idle and walking animation. And this is from the started asset kit. Um, I didn't change anything on this side, but then I created a new layer here, which is from here and you will create a new layer, but we already have one here. And this one has nothing but an empty state and then the three animations, the throw force, pull force, push force. So now what is happening is that it has a full weight, so it will override these animations over the base layer. If it's zero, nothing would happen. We won't call any of these animations, but if it's set to one, it will totally override the existing animation. So if we're walking, it will play either one of these three. But we don't want that, we just want to affect the upper body, the spine and the arms. To do that, we can assign a mask here. And it's pretty simple to set up. We have one here already, but I'm just going to create another one. We go to the project tab, right click, create, and then you will find avatar mask and just call it upper body mask. And we're going to go to humanoid here and we see a full character that is green. We just want the upper body to be affected. So I'm just going to toggle out the legs the root and the IK. So now only the head, spine and the arms will be affected. Now if I go to the gear icon here next to the top layer, I can select the mask I just created. Now if we hit play, look at the magic. Now we're, if I'm standing, if I push, you'll see the legs are still in idle mode. Now I'm gonna walk and run while the animation is playing. You see the transition is really smooth and it works with all of the three animations. We are transitioning between three animations, idle, walk and run, while we are overriding them with the, uh, the other three animations, the throw, pull and push, force animations using the mask. That is pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the same thing but for the timeline. This video is sponsored by Unity and Unity 2022 LTS editor is coming very soon. LTS version means it has been developed and tested for two years and will be supported for another two years. So if you're just starting out with a new project, I strongly recommend using 2022 LTS when it comes out, as it's the most recent and stable Unity editor. With it, a lot of new updates that include new features or stable editions of a lot of packages. The updates include dots, ECS, netcode, and other visual features that I'm personally excited about, like the volumetric materials, water system spline, LOD crossfade for a smooth LOD switch, and many more updates. To read more, check out the blog post link in the description. And back to the tutorial. Alright, let's take a look at this Stormtrooper. He's in idle mode, and then he starts walking, and then he stops back to idle mode. Let's say we want him to be waving or aiming with his pistol, though he doesn't have one, but just pretending that he's aiming with a pistol. So I have here the, uh, I'm just going to lock the timeline here. We have this waving animation, but as you can see, the legs aren't moving or not walking actually. And then we have the pistol aim, which is the same thing. The legs are not walking. They're basically standing, almost standing. And we want to replicate the same thing with the, uh, with the mask to affect only the upper body. So to override an animation, we're going to right click here, add override track, and we can just simply drag 
and drop the animation we want to override. Now if we play it, you can see that it's affected. It goes back to zero. I'm just going to place it here in the middle. This is my tool, you can check it out. So he's suddenly waving and then he's going back there. Okay, there are two things we want to change. The first thing is that he's suddenly playing the animation. We want it to be more smoothly. So you hold control and drag it in. And I'm just going to increase that a little bit and drag it in with the control to smooth it in out. So that is cool, but it's affecting the whole body with the root, legs and everything. But we don't want that. In order to only affect the mask area, I'm going to select the track here. And then the avatar mask. I'm going to select the upper body. So now if I hit play. It's pretty cool. Let's move it in the beginning here. He starts waving and then starts walking and back to idle. And I can do the same thing here. I can just add the pistol animation. Just make it shorter a little bit. And look at that. Just smooth it with while holding control and just going to drag it in. I can even add the throw force in here. So now let's look at it. That is really amazing. Now we just combined one, two and three here, five animations into one whole thing. That is pretty amazing. As you can see, you can do a lot of magic just with the masks in here. You override and you create a third animation from combining two other animations and you can do even much more with that. These were just simple examples to show you how to use that with the timeline and with the animator. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're interested in learning more about my Unity Filmmaking 101 course, please subscribe to the newsletter. It will be out on 15th of June. This is Omar Bofeki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.